too old, too narrow or too high, these are globally important sites that attract thousands of passengers today. The walk along the most dangerous bridge has become the favorite entertainment source for many people. This is the best way to increase adrenaline support for dangerous tourists when locals are forced to cross the old and swinging bridge. Rope and suspension bridges have been the most dangerous for hundreds of years, their appearance can only shed blood. These special bridges will be the subject of our video. One of the leading positions in the list of the most dangerous bridges in the world is taken by the Trift Bridge in the Swiss canton of Bern. It was built in 2004, at the initiative of major energy companies operating in the Trift Glacier. Five years later, the first reconstruction of the bridge took place, the construction was completed with new stabilized steel ropes. Initially, one of the biggest problems of the bridge was its huge mobility, the bridge swayed on the strong wind, making the transition a deadly event. This dangerous feature of the bridge has been preserved to this day despite additional strengthening. Trift Bridge, passing through the anonymous lake, still maintains the status of Europe's most dangerous and suspension bridge. Its width is not more than 1 meter and its length is about 170 meters. More than 1.5 million Swiss francs were spent on building the bridge. Currently, it is an attractive tourist destination. The bridge can be used for walking in calm windless weather. The magnificent panoramic view of the lake starts from the Trift Bridge, in good visibility nearby Italy can be seen perfectly. The Husseini Suspension Bridge in Pakistan deserves the attention of fans of extreme entertainment. It is designed to move along the Hunza River. The second bridge is the existing bridge. The fact is that this area is characterized by windy weather, and therefore the first bridge made of fine rope and wood was almost completely destroyed. Some surviving elements can still be seen next to the existing bridge, which adds excitement to tourists. The second bridge is also unreliable of the most reliable material, such as string and board construction. Husseini Suspension Bridge is very old. Even the locals cannot remember the exact date of its construction. For many years, the boards collapsed, and the gaps between the boards became quite large. The huge holes on the bridge and the ice-cold wind that never ceases to blow are incredibly dangerous to Hunza. Husseini Suspension Bridge is located near the village of the same name. As local residents remember, at least 10 people fell when crossing the bridge. Permanent cold wind blown from Karakoram Mountains is considered to be the most dangerous bridge in the world, as it becomes even more dangerous. The Karaka Reed Bridge in the British town of Antrim has long been one of the most popular attractions of the region. It combines the main part of Ireland with the small island of Carrick, whose name literally calls it, Stone. The name of the bridge can be translated as, Stone Road, respectively. Since ancient times, this small island has attracted local fishermen. They built the first bridge to easily reach the island during the salmon migration and came to fish. The first Carrick a reed bridge is made of ropes, and every year fishermen must rebuild it. The swinging rope bridge was visited only by the bravest people, a single strange move can cost balance loss and lives. Over time, the fishing spots disappeared and the bridge looked unnecessary. A few years ago, he prevailed among the most extreme in Northern Ireland. A large amount of money was invested in the reconstruction of the bridge. Thus, it is a popular tourist attraction today. Although the bridge is reinforced and completed with wooden beams, it is still incredibly shaky and in motion. The bridge is visited by more than 250,000 tourists a year, anyone interested has to pay £5 to pass. Capilano Suspension Bridge, located in the immediate vicinity of Vancouver, is considered not only extreme, but also one of the most attractive bridges on the planet. It serves to reach the Capilano River. The magnificent beautiful landscape surrounded by green leafy forests can be seen here. At the entrance of the bridge, you can see the totem poles honored to the head of the Squamish clan. A few hundred years ago, his tribe lived on the territory of the city, the Capilano River and later the bridge owe their names to this person. 
The first bridge was built in 1889. The project was developed by Scottish engineer George Grant Mackay. The bridge, where tourists can walk today, was opened in 1956. Its length is 136 meters. The structure is safe and can withstand 96 elephants at the same time. Despite the security guarantee, crossing the bridge still requires firm courage. The bridge is located at a high height and vibrates significantly during walking. Even a few seconds on the bridge can trigger dizziness and panic attacks among people who are afraid of heights. Capilano Suspension Bridge has to be paid because it belongs to the private sector. Each year this unique attraction is visited by about 900,000 tourists. There are many attractions and entertainment options in the national park next to the bridge. The bridge at Puente de Ojuela in Mexico is considered one of the most dangerous and mysterious places on the planet. The bridge was built in 1898 over a deep canyon, it provided the transition to the Ojuela mines, where precious metals and other mines were extracted from the town as soon as possible. The draft of the first bridge project was developed by the son of world-famous engineer John Roebling, the most famous of their productions are the Brooklyn Bridge. After the completion of Puente de Ojuela, it has been one of the longest suspension bridges in the world for years. Superior stability, the developers used steel cables to reinforce their construction, a major innovation at the end of the 19th century. The bridge was actively used by miners and when the gold and silver mines were exhausted, the bridge was neglected to the town of Ojuela as well. Today, this high bridge appeals to fans of extreme sports. Passing through it gives a feeling of weightlessness thanks to the open design of the structure and an impressive height. Drifting cliffs add excitement, so adrenaline rush is guaranteed while walking along the bridge. Today, this large building with a length of more than 275 meters is one of the important tourist attractions. These places attract photographers due to the magnificent view of the canyon. Unusual facilities for waftage can be found in different parts of the Mekong Delta in the southern part of Vietnam. They look just like vague bridges, so they bought an unusual name, monkey bridges. Contrary to the widespread belief that they are only suitable for monkeys, monkey bridges have helped indigenous people pass water for many years. Traditionally thick bamboo stems, it was difficult to pass because they were quite slippery, were used for these types of structures, it was tied with old ropes. The bars of these bridges are heating up, so in order to overcome one of the monkey bridges, people must start running towards a distance like monkeys. These structures were built by local residents. Since the bridges are very fragile, they are constantly being destroyed and have to be rebuilt. Among the monkey bridges, there are short and long ones, which are quite high and low, the odd form of these fragile structures remains unchanged. The rickety bridge may collapse at any time, it is necessary to wear the most comfortable shoes with rubber soles, otherwise thin bamboo stems can easily slip. Although the bridges have been used to cross the shallow river, the possibility of swimming in dark waters does not appeal to passengers, but it certainly adds excitement. More than 150 years ago, the people of Myanmar built the Upain Bridge to cross the Tantom Lake. The structure is very different from many false bridges that can be seen in other countries. The construction of the bridge began in the second half of the 19th century, during King Minden. The main building stones of the teak columns were left after the reconstruction of an old palace. Strong masts literally punched the bottom of the shallow lake, each column is numbered. One of the key features of the design is that it lacks handrails that facilitate the transition, which is incredibly dangerous. The bridge height is twice as high as a man, so falling under the lake covered with sharp stones can turn into a tragedy. It seems that local residents do not deal with this danger, they cross the bridge with a big load and even by bicycle. The length of this unique bridge, which is used daily by hundreds of local residents, is about 1,200 meters. The height of the bridge is around 4.5 meters. The unique bridge is incredibly popular among tourists. Travelers who are considering taking great pictures of the Upain Bridge are recommended to visit at sunset.
Gasa Suspension Bridge, located in Nepal, only belongs to the facilities, the view of which is breathtaking. It is close to the village of the same name and is actively used not only for humans, but also for the crossing of cows. Bovine animals remain the livelihood of the local people for many years. Prior to this, herds of animals constantly accumulated in and around the village and almost completely occupied the narrow mountain road. Today, hundreds of shepherds and animals cross the bridge freely and have picturesque pastures. The narrow bridge is placed at a high height, moreover, the winds that occur regularly in this area are rather narrow and extremely unstable. Crossing the bridge has become a familiar event for indigenous peoples, but not all travelers were brave enough. Although the bridge looks quite fragile and shaken, it is very reliable and most importantly equipped with high bars. Some shepherds then blindfold the animals to act quietly on the bridge, thanks to flaps, animals calmly overcome obstacles and do not distract by opening the sights of the Himalayas. Bridges built from live tree roots are not uncommon in India. These bridges were not built, they literally grew from the strong roots of the rubber tree. To start growing the bridge, it is enough to throw a wireframe into the river and watch the strong tree roots evenly on it. The construction of the bridge can take several decades. Bridges from live tree roots can be tens of meters long. The authors of this unusual building technology were representatives of the KH tribe. This is how they arranged the communication between the fast river banks hundreds of years ago. The locals have taken firm steps in this incredibly ingenious way. Root bridges are getting stronger every year, they don't need any repair. Height and low weight are among the prominent features of these small structures, the average bridge is not more than 25 kg. It is surprising that such a bridge can withstand several adults. Despite the previously mentioned, live bridge features, it is dangerous to go through them. A fragile live root net can literally explode under the foot at all times. Given that these bridges are very narrow and there are no bars, the loss of balance will inevitably lead to a fall. There is also an outlier bridge in Sri Lanka. Kotmail Oya Bridge crosses the rough and muddy river of the same name. The bridge was built long ago, so rotten and impressive holes were formed between the wooden boards. Bridge relative strength is provided by railings made of steel bars, even the locals do not cease to hold them. Malaysia's Borneo Island has its unique Sarawak Bridge due to its name turning into a nearby village. The bridge design is truly unique, plates made of fine wires, made entirely of bamboo. Fences leaning to the bridge floor make it even more extreme. It should also be noted that the structure is quite fragile and can withstand up to two adults at the same time. If someone presses the bridge, it begins to swing, but the main dangers to people crossing the bridge are large gaps between the bamboo stalks. Keeping the so-called railing is very uncomfortable, not for this, but to make the structure more balanced. You are familiar with the wrong step and the emerald waters of the river that pass under the bridge. It is noteworthy that one of the parks of Borneo is an exact copy of the Sarawak Bridge, because it is a true national symbol for the locals. Dangerous rope bridges also survived on the planet. One of them is in Peru. Many travelers know the Kesa Chaka Bridge as the Inca Rope Bridge. These bridges that first appeared during the Inca Empire. The secret of the longevity and durability of the bridges is very simple, it was built using durable vines and twigs woven into solid ropes. Hundreds of years ago, Incas built solid bridges with railings, structures were carefully trained and repaired. The village may have several bridges crossing deep valleys, individuals who were assigned to each bridge status were followed. So far, only one rope bridge has remained in Peru. Its length is about 36 meters, it is located 67 meters above the Aporamac River. Locals continue to actively use the bridge, every year they carefully repair the bridge in June. While it is literally deadly for tourists, crossing the gorge was the usual deal for the locals. You have to be very careful with the rope bridge to avoid shaking. The thick ropes of the vines that replace the bars serve the moral function instead of the actual support. 
If the balance is lost, it is not easy to hold on the bridge. However, annual repairs have ensured that the bridge conditions are well maintained so that you don't have to be afraid. Locals preserved the legacy of the bridge ancestors through repairs. The bridge that crosses the Royal Gorge in Colorado is considered one of the most dangerous and magnificent structures in the United States. It is actually one of the few bridges of the world built for touristic purposes. The opening of the bridge took place in 1929. Curious tourists have been coming for nearly a century to admire the panoramic view of the Royal Gorge and the Arkansas River. Fans of extreme entertainment are mostly attracted by the height of the bridge and relatively resistance to the wind gusts. The size of the building is quite serious as the length of the bridge is more than 380 meters, while it is 291 meters higher than the top of the gorge. In 1989, this unusual attraction was seriously developed, now the bridge does not swing too much in the wind, and walking along the construction has become much more comfortable. Those who do not admire the environment from the bridge are offered to try another way of jumping adrenaline, bungee jumping. Wooden planks are used as the main building material for construction, over 200 worn boards replace each year during repair. The current value of the bridge is estimated to exceed $15 million.